Okay, so we're going to be making this album today, or a very similar version of it. And again, I'm going to be using the additions and the large bindings. So I have my large binding already made. I really want to give you the visuals of what I'm using here. So I'm just going to fish out the sets because I'm even if I say it, I'll, I'll still get questions. So I'm going to be using these sets today, the Large Ultimate Binding and Spine Set and the Landscape Album Die Set Edition. So I'll be using these two dies here. And okay. this die at the back there, that is the full page. And that's basically what I have here. I have six of these. Okay. And it'll be grey colour. And, and what sort of weight are you using for that grey cardstock? Uh, this is 220. It's the Foundations card by Expressive. Uh, expressive uh, Creative Expression? That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> the the colour stone. It's in stock at Craft Stash. I did check yesterday. And Lovely. it's I think it's 220 GSM. Perfect. Lovely. Okay. Thank you. So I've got those already done. So, as I said before, my website, helengriffin.co.uk, in the blog section for today's um, post. I've, I've popped in a video of how to put this binding together. Okay. Brilliant. I didn't want it to be too time consuming. And then I've die cut six of these pages, the main pages. So we're going to just go straight in and get these added. And then we'll be moving on to the covers. So the inner six, these, these six here are going to be for my pages. These two outer flaps, they're going to be for my covers. Okay. So I'm going to be starting in from the second one in from the uh, right. So I'm just going to add glue. I would de definitely recommend using glue for this because one, you've got the wiggle room if you do put it down in the wrong place. And two, it will last longer as well. Right. Okay, so here we have our pages. There we go. So we're just Nice and easy. It coming together and if these do kind of bend or warp or go to the side a little bit like that it'll be fine because once you've added your mats they, wow. they straighten out really nicely so yeah once you start building up your album it will just feel really nice you'll get to that point where you pick it up and you'll be like oh yeah that that feels good okay so let's move on to the next stage now so i have here some gray board i took this off the back of some paper pads so you can just take them from there now these measure nine by six and three eighths of an inch, and they're the exact same size as the pages. And what right. I've done is I've covered one side completely with the patterned paper. So I've chosen those two. So this is gonna be my back cover. This one here is going to be my front. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn this onto its side like that. I'm gonna be adding just to this outer flap here. Mm -hmm. I've always watched you put albums together and I'm surprised at how quickly they come together but I guess if you've got the tools, once yeah, you've yeah. die cut everything... That's right, once you've die cut everything out you can literally just put it together. There's no decisions to make after you've made them and die cut everything out. So I'm just going to turn that over just to the other side. I could have demonstrated with the the tools that I have for the wrapped cover but those they did come back in stock last month, but then they just flew out the door again. Now. <laughs> I didn't get to play with them. That's the oh, thing, dear. sometimes you just have to jump on these things. They, they were just gone before I got a chance to kind of... Um, uh, Lynn Bell has just joined again. us. Sorry, I'm talking over you. Um, so, Lynn Bell's just joined. Hello. She's uh, trying to get her daughter's seventh birthday party buffet done for after school birthday celebration. Oh, I miss... I don't miss doing it with my children. I miss having the parties when I was yeah. little. They are stressful, aren't they? Try to organise everything. Oh, they are. They are. Halloween. Well, good luck with that anyway, then. <laughs> okay, and there is our back cover done. Okay, let's get uh, this the right way round. So it's going to be that way round. You could just leave it like that. Well, it does come with the extra die here that yeah. you can use to create spine you did a nice sparkly one didn't you on one of your albums I yeah yeah i love that so i would add the spine last after you've done all your decorating mm -hmm. okay so let's quickly cover i'm going to just do um i do have some page packs here so i've got these for my inner covers just like that those are going to go like that and then i've got a page mat here just for this first page 
Okay, so I'm just going to pop that just there. Let me just look at what I have here. I have a few things that I can pop in. So I'm going to die cut this actually from this card. I'm just wary of the time. So okay. Let's quickly run that through. Uh, where's the die? Here it is. I make such a huge mess. I like craft. Oh, honestly. <laughs> well, you, you, I mean, everybody sees a nice tidy desk here, but, and I do, I do craft tidy for the most part. I do one project, then clear away and then start again. But I have just been doing, uh, so I've got a launch next week as well. I can do a little plug now, can't I? Um, I've got a textures launch next Wednesday and I've been obviously preparing for that. So I've got little bits of paper everywhere at the moment and ink and all sorts. Yeah, it's a big scuffle of getting everything ready, isn't it? Oh, yes. Okay, so that's that die cut really nicely. This is also um, antique gold paper from nice. Creative Expressions. That Lovely. Stock as well, so. Oh, look how good you are with your little pot of scraps. I know, I need to empty it. Look at that. Oh, no, I made a mess now. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, you're yeah. good. I used to have, I had made by an old boss of mine, um, a, it was a thread catcher, but I used it for all my little bits of paper. Oh. Um, and it was perfect to just scoop bits of paper like that off the edge of the table and into the thread catcher that hung on the edge. So let's empty that brilliant. out. Yeah, this is a, the craft stash one, isn't it? Creative yeah, that's brands. the um, tidy tray, if anyone's that's looking for it. that. Yeah, I've actually got two of these. So I use one for my embossing powders and then this one for my papers. So let's get all these Gorgeous. out. Gorgeous. So. I'm just sorry, I'm going quiet. I'm just reading the uh, comments. Uh, Karen has said, Helen, are the stamps your own handwriting? No, they're not. I wish my handwriting was that nice. <laughs> I can I can do italic, but it's more like a drug spider italic. <laughs> <laughs> I love that phrase. Uh, drunk, uh, drunk spider dipped in ink walked across the page. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've heard that. That's how doctors write, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, Okay, so we're going to pop this on just like that, and I'll give you a little trick actually, because I'd like these both joined together. And this is such a very skinny yeah. border. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim up some little foam pieces, and then you can line everything up just like that. So, you can use this for your cards as well and then pop this on at the halfway point just like that and that will adhere them together yes lovely i suppose you could use them larger if you're just going to use the edge of them you could yes uh where's if my like, other one i cut one. corners <laughs> <laughs> i'm terrible yeah there we go i just need to do one more And obviously, um, if you're using scissors, Helen's got sort of non-stick scissors there anyway, but if you're using scissors and cutting through foam pads, definitely keep the backing on while you cut them, or That's you'll end right. up with an awful mess. Right, so that is now stuck to the Gorgeous. Frame. We can now pop this on just there. There is our front cover. I should have put one in the centre there. These are quite big, so... Okay, so now we're going to just quickly decorate just the front page just like that so this nice. is the elegant flat die set was damask the word you were looking for earlier That's the word. yeah that wasn't me i can't take uh, credit for that there was somebody earlier in the comments or a couple of people actually earlier in the comments so thank you if you commented that earlier and that's the wrong one. Wow, well, i'm getting the wrong die sets out today <laughs> you've got so dear. many it's been a long week. <clears throat> okay so here is the elegant pocket and flat die set so i have used that to make this flap so what I'm going to do is just add glue all the way around here. Mm -hmm. Add your glue. I would definitely use glue because I have made albums before with uh, double sided tape and they've started to fall apart. Right. After a while, so the glue really does make a difference. Oh, uh, it lasts forever. I mean, I find double sided tape, if you get a slightly <coughs> warm day, or something like that it can just not always it usually has to age a little while doesn't it it does and that should go in there ah 
I assume that's you. It looks like you. <clears throat> yes, it is. Yes, all those years ago. Ah, oh, how many yeah. years? Uh, that was 2011. Yeah, it was five months after my son was born, so I had all that baby weight to lose in five months. Wow, wow. Well, you look amazing in that photo. Thank you. Yeah. So that is the mini album. So just carry on decorating everything and yeah. papers. So this is now a blank canvas now for me to carry on and use the additions there for all the pockets and things like that. And again, use your frames as well as all these pockets too. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Thank you for showing us your insight into how do you sort of start an album really. Um,